What's up, YouTube? Brandy Orton Fan 2011, and it's time to start the semifinals of the NNSCRA Dairy Queen Knockout Series. First, we're going to start in the home conference between two well-known PRWC members, that is Aaron Williams and Xavier Livingston. Aaron Williams, as the higher seed, has chosen the inside lane, so he will have that inside advantage, but we'll have to wait and see if that if he can put it to good use here. We're here at... um. By the way, we're here in Winnipeg, Manitoba, for um, here at Pigs Creek for the two semifinal matchups. Of course, this is the first semifinal matchup. This is the home conference. We'll take a look at the away conference matchup later on in this one between Sean Henley and Ethan Nix. But we are back here at another super speedway, and this one is fairly huge to say the least. The pace car is going to make the left turn to Pitt Road. We are down to four drivers, but only two will advance to the final round, who will determine an NSCRA Dairy Queen Knockout Series champion. There is the green flag! And it's four laps here at Pigs Creek to determine a finalist. See Aaron Williams with that inside advantage, takes advantage on the inside, and he will come away with the early lead, but remember, four laps. Four laps determines the winner here in this one. You're going to watch them reach really high speeds here at this track. This is a huge super speedway. You're going to watch them hit just about 250 as they come off the backstretch and into turns 3 and 4. Remember, Xavier Livingston has come up with some big, uh, with some big wins, especially in the tournament. He came up with a big win against the defending Pepsi Cup Series champion, Dil Poteet. And he also came up with a, another big win in the uh, in the Elite Eight. Now he's going side by side with Aaron Williams. Of course, Xavier Livingston definitely wants to beat the PORWC president, and it looks like he will beat him to the line. But that's only the first lap. Well, if that was the final lap, we could have had a great finish right there. But Xavier Livingston will have a small advantage as they come to turns one and two once again here at lap two. Now Xavier Livingston clears Aaron Williams. It looks like we could have a back and forth battle here. These two are just going well at each other. There you see Aaron Williams looking to the inside. Williams with the advantage coming into turns three and four. Williams really he's he's he has a lot of speed coming into that uh into turn three, and he's gonna clear Xavier Livingston coming into turn four. Remember, this is a huge track. This is one huge track, I'll say that. So anything and everything will happen in this race. We have reached the halfway point. Remember, it's the leader at the checkered flag that wins the race and moves on to the finals. There is the halfway mark. Two laps to go now for Aaron Williams and Xavier Livingston. One of these PRWC members will move on into the finals to represent the PRWC. Still pretty even, to say the least now, but here comes Xavier Livingston back on the inside. They're swapping positions around that backstretch, reaching almost 260 miles per hour as they go through turns 3 and 4. Xavier Livingston with that inside advantage, but can he hold the inside advantage on the final lap? It's all a matter of perfect execution. They're going to take the white flag this time by. Now Aaron Williams. Aaron Williams with the crossover move. Aaron Williams did the crossover. And they'll take the white flag. Xavier Livingston with the small advantage, but Aaron Williams got the inside, and he will take the lead coming to turns one and two, but it's still a long way to the checkered flag. Xavier Livingston has plenty of time to make his move. Take a look at our bird's eye view camera. They're pretty close within each other, I'll tell you that. Xavier Livingston, he's got to make his move on the inside as it comes through turns 3 and 4. See, Aaron Williams can't quite hold the well on the inside. That might open the door for Xavier Livingston. Here he comes. Xavier Livingston saw the door of opportunity wide open. He's going to go to the inside. They're side by side coming off turn 4. 
This is going to be one battle for the finish that we'll remember in this knockout series. Who's going to advance into the final four? Who's going to advance into the finals? It's Aaron Williams. By that much. Wow. We have got to take a look at that again. That was very close finish. One of the most exciting finishes that we have ever seen here in this, at PRWC. I mean, and in a series, I don't know why I failed again. Looks like the fails of Marty Reed have caught up to just about everyone here. That's got to be one of the most exciting finishes in all of the NNSCRA Dairy Queen Knockout Series, but that was less than one one hundredth of a second. We got to take another good look at that. Stay tuned. Take a look at this finish from our bird's eye view camera. Watch them as they cross the start finish line. And by that much, look at that. Look at that finish. By that much, Aaron Williams beats Xavier Livingston to the line by five one thousandths of a second. What a close finish that was, but the president able to secure that outside line, and he's able to take home the checkered flag by just that much. And that's got to be a tough break for Xavier Livingston. Came so close, had the inside advantage, but Aaron Williams will take home the win, and he will advance into the finals. He will face either Ethan Nix or Sean Henley. And I'll tell you, Ethan Nix, he's been on quite the run. He's made it through three rounds. All he's got to do now is... Is to have a date with Aaron Williams in the finals, all he's got to do is get past Sean Henley. But I'll tell you, Sean Henley has had a great, phenomenal run so far in these, uh, in this knockout series, and we'll see if he can, uh, if he can continue his great run in the uh, second matchup in the semifinals. Stay tuned, guys. The away conference finals is up next. Ethan Nick, Sean Henley. Stay tuned. And we're back for the second of our two semifinal matchups between Sean Henley and Ethan Nix, the Cinderella story that we have all been talking about over this tournament. I'll tell you, the slipper, the glass slipper still fits on Ethan Nix for now, but we'll see if the, if the new glass slipper that he will receive after this race will still fit him. Because I'll tell you, he's a 16 seed. He was a 16 seed. He beat Charles Jackson in the first round, which is very surprising because, I mean... You can be any PRWC or NNSCRA member. You you def you definitely have something up. You you definitely have a bunch of talent. And then he he cruised through the second round. He came away with another big win in the third round in uh, the Elite Eight, beating Matthew McMurray. And somehow somehow Ethan Nix has something up in him. But I'll tell you, Sean Henley, he's a seasoned veteran, and you know he's going to give it everything he's got to make sure he gets that date with Aaron Williams. There's the green flag, so here we go. Four laps here at Picks Creek in Winnipeg to determine who will get a date with Aaron Williams in the final round. We saw the inside line go to work on the previous race, and Sean Henley trying to make it work now, and he will make it work on that inside line. Sean Henley will have the advantage coming off turn two. You're going to watch these speeds go really fast here. Watch these speeds as they're probably going to reach just around 250 as they come off into the back, come into turn three here. These speeds are just well, uh, well above um, what we have seen so far. Ethan Nix trying to uh, stay within range of Sean Henley. He doesn't want, he doesn't want to end his Cinderella run now. Of course, we had Rhett Yates in the PRWC Adidas Knockout Series had a, had a great Cinderella run up until the semifinals where he got beat by a very seasoned veteran in Dole Poteet. But now Sean Henley is the guy who wants to prevent that Cinderella story from happening. Sean Henley will lead the first lap. And, oh, Ethan Nix just went well of the on the outside. He's going to lose a lot of momentum there. About five, about half a car length separated separated the got separated both drivers from the at the start finish line. Ethan Nix starting to try to catch up. Sean Henley trying to uh, keep uh, keep that lead. Remember, it's the leader at the checkered flag that wins the race and moves on into the finals. And also remember, the loser of this race will face Xavier Livingston in the bronze medal match. I know that the Olympics have just finished today, and obviously you got to give props to Team USA for winning gold in both men's and women's basketball. And of course, as well as in women's soccer. Here comes Ethan Nix, though. He's not... He's not going to go away anytime soon. If Sean Henley wants to uh, get a date with Aaron Williams in the finals, he's going to have to earn it. 
We've reached the halfway point with two laps to go, and now Ethan Nix has that inside advantage. And Ethan Nix make it work on the inside. These speeds are well above what we usually see here in NASCAR. And it looks like Ethan Nix has the momentum on the inside. Can he clear Sean Henley? Sean Henley trying to, trying to hang tough on that outside line. Sean Henley really making that outside line work. He's really making Ethan Nix work for the lead here. Sean Henley, he's doing everything he can to keep it to keep that date with Aaron Williams, but remember, only there's only one ticket left in the finals. Only one of these drivers will punch their ticket into the grand final the tournament finals, but the other will have to settle to face Xavier Livingston for the bronze medal. Sean Henley working really well on that outside on the straights, but Ethan Nix doing so well in the turns. They take the white flag. Both of these cars separated by less by just around one one hundredth of a second. I'm not sure what the strategy is now for Sean Henley. Ethan Nix really making that inside line work. Can Sean Henley come up with something big here? I'm gonna try to keep keep it on the outside. I'm gonna try to keep it on the outside. This could be a side, another side by side finish like we saw in the home conference finals. They're still side by side coming into turns three and four. It's gonna be a matter of who who will have the advantage coming off turn four and into the tri oval who will possibly win this race. Ethan Nix trying to make the inside line work. Sean Henley really hanging tough on the outside. Here we go. We got another great battle for the finish. Sean Henley, however, has to, trying to stick it out. They come to the stripe, and Sean Henley will get a date with Aaron Williams in the grand finals. And unfortunately for Ethan Nix, the glass slipper no longer fits. Wow. What a finish that was. Another exciting finish, but Sean Henley, the seasoned veteran that he is, comes away with the big win. He'll get a date with Aaron Williams in the in the tournament finals. And he ends the Cinderella run of Ethan Nix. But wow, you gotta you gotta give props to Ethan Nix, though. He he came away with some big wins, especially against a few PRWC and NNSCRA members. He made it very far into this tournament. I didn't ex I didn't expect him to make it past the first round because he was a 16 seed. But you gotta give Ethan Nix credit for making it all the way to the semifinals and coming that close to beating Sean Henley and having a date with Aaron Williams. But unfortunately for Ethan Nix, the glass slipper no longer fits. What a heartbreaker for Ethan Nix with the Cinderella story that he could have. And he will unfortunately have to settle to face Xavier Livingston in the bronze medal match. But there is a happy man right there, Sean Henley. Came away, made the outside line work, and he will have a date with Aaron Williams in the tournament finals. So now the final two matchups have been set. The bronze medal match will be Xavier Livingston and Ethan Nix. And the gold medal match will determine who wins the gold and silver medals. That is Aaron Williams and Sean Henley. And you know Sean Henley would like to get a bit of revenge on Aaron Williams after uh, what if, after what has transpired in some in a bunch of races, I'll tell you that. We'll see if Sean Henley can back up some of his words on the on the grand finals. The grand finals, the tournament finals will be at Zenjoltis. It will be a four lap it will be a five lap. It will be a four no way. Like I was in, a PO, in the PRWC Adidas Knockout Series, it will still be a four-lap battle. It'll be a four-lap battle between Aaron Williams and Sean Henley to determine a big winner in the NNSCRA Dairy Queen Knockout Series. And it'll be two laps in the bronze medal match between Xavier Livingston and Ethan Nix. Well, this tournament is getting all the way down to the wire. Remember, it's, it's not over till it's over. And who knows, Aaron Williams and Sean Henley looking bo both looking for their... I think their first NNSCRA championships, but I think Sean Henley might want this a little more after what has transpired between him and Aaron Williams in the past, but we'll see if he can back up his words. All right, guys, that's it. It's 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 a great NNSCRA Dairy Queen knockout series, and the final phase of it is coming up very soon. This is this is Randy Orton Fan 2011, aka Simmerly NASCAR Fan 34, signing off. I'm out.